A four-decade tradition of honoring former enemies returns to McClellan this weekend. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Waldrop Manufacturing, metal buildings made right here in Calhoun County. Hello and welcome to East Alabama Now Local News. I'm Mike Stedham. For almost 40 years, services have been held at the former military base's German Italian Cemetery to pay tribute to the 26 Germans and three Italians who were buried there. After three years of private ceremonies during the COVID pandemic, the historic POW Memorial Ceremony will again be open to the public this Sunday afternoon at 1.30. Preston Hale of the American Legion Post in Oxford is one of the organizers of this year's event. Uh, it's a very great opportunity for us who are the children and grand grandchildren of the people who fought in World War II uh, because of political differences that we now can come together and unite as a one people of this world and uh, we look forward to everybody being part of this activity and it's open to the public. Sunday's ceremony will feature the ROTC Color Guard from Jacksonville State University as well as representatives from both the German and Italian military who will place wreaths on all of the graves. Tom Cole, another of the ceremony organizers, says special guests of honor will be the family of one of the German POWs Peter Gnau. We're going to be uh, talking about Peter Gnau, who's buried right here in front of me. His family has come over from Germany six times for this ceremony. That's how important it is for them. And Peter Gnau, this was his grandfather that he's never met. And he talks about how welcoming we are to them, former enemies. And here we are standing together. Uh, in commemoration of these men because they all had families they never made it home they paid the ultimate sacrifice for their country and as old soldiers they're soldiers too the german italian memorial cemetery is at 3541 shipley drive on the western edge of mcclellan near the aniston walmart in alabama 21. thomas gilbert says the cemetery features an iron cross that was made by some of the prisoners at the camp during World War II, and it's become the final resting place for many POWs from other military bases. Interred here, there's four people that were there actually died here in McClellan. The remainder were transferred here after the war from all the all the posts in the south, and so we are here, the single repository for all the interred P former POWs in the south southern United States. In the event of bad weather, the service will be held at the Cane Creek Community Gardens just off the Summerall Gate Road. After the break, we'll be telling you about the latest project from the Aniston Changers Project. For metal buildings in Alabama and the southeast, Waldrop Manufacturing is your one-stop source. A Waldrop metal building provides the coverage and protection your investments need. They specialize in carports, RV covers, portable buildings, and storage buildings. Stop paying rent for storage. With Waldrop's price per foot, you can actually save money by buying straight from the manufacturer. Waldrop buildings are guaranteed because Waldrop manufactures buildings with U.S. Steel right here in Calhoun County. Waldrop Manufacturing, serving the entire Southeast. Give them a call today. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by WM Grocery, located in Heflin, Wadawi, Roanoke, and in Piedmont. Aniston Changers will be back at work starting at 7 o'clock Saturday morning, cleaning up a neighborhood in West Aniston with the help and support of an Aniston manufacturing company. Bud Owsley, the president of Boozer Beam, says his team will be pitching in along with the Aniston Changers volunteers to do raking, cleaning, trash collecting, and other community cleanup activities. This is very important to our company. We have been a member of the community since 1933. And over this time, we have built solid relationships with people all over our city, but especially so in our local community. 
and we want them to know again how much we enjoy being their neighbor and how much we want to add value to our neighborhood so this is our way of giving back and also showing them that we care so are you team Anniston or team Oxford if you're a runner you can choose which of Calhoun County's two largest cities you support during the second annual rivalry run 5k which starts Saturday morning at 8. The competition is a joint venture by Main Street Anniston and the historic Main Street Oxford. The city with a larger number of runners will be crowned champion and keep the trophy until the following year. Registration starts at 7 at Simmons Park in downtown Oxford where the race begins at 8. The course goes up Front Street to Noble Street and ends in downtown Anniston at Christmas Tree Park, where an award ceremony will be held at 9.30. Registration costs $30 per adult and $20 for students. If you have kids in the family, they will have something to do this Sunday, thanks to the Anniston Parks and Recreation Department, which is resuming its Something to Do Sunday program. This month's activities will be held at the Constantine Park from 3 p.m. until 5 p.m., featuring educational fun, games, and other structured activities. Something to Do Sunday was created by area residents who wanted to give Anniston's youths a regular opportunity to play and learn. For more information, contact PARD at 256-236-8221. When East Alabama Now Local News returns, we'll tell you about the new home of a program that provides new homes for people who need them. Since 1993, WM Grocery has been a major part of our local community. WM offers the very best in fresh produce and an outstanding meat department. WM also has many local products not found anywhere else and fresh sushi every day. If you need an event catered, come see Mrs. K at any WM store. Curbside pickup is also available for your online grocery orders. Be sure to download the WM app for all the deals of the week and shopper rewards. Go check them out today at any of their locations. We take pride in our community and appreciate your business. This week's Community Spotlight is brought to you by the Joey Cruz Team, real estate leader since 2010. My name is Amanda Pinson. I'm the director uh, for Calhoun Cleaver and Habitat for Humanity. So Habitat for Humanity is a nonprofit ecumenical housing organization. We build homes for low-income families in Calhoun and Cleburne County. Um, it's a, a way for low-income families um, to complete their dream of home ownership. Um, they are required to attend a webinar um, and we explain our program and the requirements. If the family is selected or approved, they receive a visit from our Family Selection Committee and ultimately are approved by our Board of Directors. So we actually started building homes in 1993. So next year will be our 30th year anniversary. We're super excited about that. Um, at that time, we were building, you know, probably one to two homes a year. Um, the home building increased after that, um, and then obviously increased to the 36 homes that we built during the Jimmy Carter Work Project. Um, since then, we've built two to three homes a year. Um, we are about to start construction on our 159th home um, in Calhoun County. We have completed 62 home renovations and over 100 Brush with Kindness projects. We are also one of six affiliates in the state of Alabama that's considered to be a Veterans Build affiliate where we complete projects for veterans and we also ask veterans to um, volunteer with Habitat for Humanity. Um, in 2016, we opened our ReStore um, we've been there since then at 22 West 10th Street and we've most recently moved to 310 Industrial Drive in Oxford. So I feel like the benefit for Habitat here is it's essentially the only home buying program for low income families. Um, our program is set up for people that uh, have some type of stable income but they can't go to a bank or a mortgage company and be approved for a conventional mortgage. Um, so they partner with us um, and we're able to build a home that they can afford. Um, 
that's in a safe neighborhood um, where their children can learn and grow and be comfortable. Um, so I think it's just a very unique program. Um, I don't know of any other program like Habitat. If you're interested in applying for a Habitat home, you can contact us at 256-237-3700 and speak with Alina Lackey um, and she will go over the application process. If you're interested in donating or volunteering your time um, on a build site or at our ReStore, you can contact the same number um, and speak with me um, or Richard Pennington, our ReStore manager. Think it's cold now? Well, wait until the weekend when the thermometer is predicted to hit the low 20s in East Alabama. A slow warming trend is expected by next week, but it looks like we may be in for a wet Thanksgiving this year. For this newscast, be sure to check back Friday evening. We'll be giving you a look at the biggest Christmas lights display in the region. It's Oxford's annual Festival of Lights, which opens this weekend. Have a great evening.